So there has been significant progress in understanding and treating sickle cell disease. However, there is so much more work to be done to help eradicate this disorder. That's right. Our next guest really making a huge difference. Please welcome Teresa Ginger Davis, the president of the Sickle Cell Thalassemia Patients Network, or SCTPN. So good morning to you. Thank you so much good for being morning. here. Good morning. Um, September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, and we talk about this often. We have our Nicole Johnson, whose son has been on our show many times, talking about sickle cell. For those who don't know, just give us a brief uh, rundown of what exactly sickle cell disease is. It's a genetically inherited disorder that's passed on from parents to child. Both parents have to carry a trait in order for the child to have the disease. And there are about 22 that are closely associated with sickle cell, but more than 400 ab abnormal hemoglobin traits. It affects the blood cell, mm -hmm. and so the complications that come along with the cell sickling inside the body is damage to major organs and organ systems. Yeah. So everything from vision and, and hearing loss to renal failure, um, heart complications, respiratory complications, right. so it's very pervasive. Mm -hmm. And sickle cell is very prevalent in African American communities, yes. correct? Yes. But so, not exclusive. It's yes. actually worldwide. So everywhere malaria was endemic in Mediterranean, mm. in southern uh, China, Southeast Asia, India, second largest population outside of Africa, the Mediterranean Middle East. So it's pretty much everywhere. And because people from all over the world are here in New York, yeah. you know, we have a very high population. So what can families do to kind of get ahead of it, to make sure you need to family. know your trait status. You need to know if you carry a trait. You can ask your doctor to test you for a sickle cell trait, and then uh, you would need to be provided with genetic counseling and probably pan planned parenting if you are someone of childbearing age and want to have a family. And, and talk to us a little bit about the journey, right? And mm -hmm. I want to use Parker as an example, Parker, yes. uh, which is Nicole Johnson's son, because we've seen him from a young age. He was diagnosed at a young age. Yes. Now Parker's in college, yes. right? And so when you hear the words, you have sickle cell, it may be one of those things where you hear it and you're like, oh my goodness. But mm -hmm. there is life that goes on after it. So talk a little bit about yes. Parker's journey in particular. So Parker's journey, you know, he, like most children with sickle cell disease, it's uncontrollable. You're sick and half the time you're mm. in the hospital. Yeah. And depending on what type of sickle cell you have, the three most common is SS, the most severe, SC disease, and S beta thalassemia. And C and thalassemia considered to be mild. The pain isn't. <laughs> People who have yeah. Yeah. any variation experience the same thing. but. Uh, it affects going to school, it aff as you get older, affects working, um, but our population is so resilient and like Parker, we don't let sickle cell stop us from living life and accomplishing things. So He's you go on through the guy. pain, you go on through sometimes some kind of complication and you fight to, to achieve whatever goal that you set for yourself. Yeah. And, um, and this is why this organization exists, to encourage people uh, to, to live despite the pain, despite the debility, despite the discrimination that, that yeah. we uh, experience, to have a goal and work towards achieving it. Yeah, and achieving a cure as well. And, yes. and tomorrow is the annual Sickle Cell Walk for Education and Awareness. Tell us about that. Yes, event. it's our 25th anniversary, so we're having yes. a party. Please come join us. Uh, we are celebrating life living with sickle cell and we are acknowledging our elders growing up and growing older because it was considered a pediatric disease mm -hmm. not to live beyond five yeah, years wow. of age and we have a 91 year old. Yes. We have That's people amazing. in their 80s going into 90s and 70s so we want to acknowledge and we want to show the world and especially our children that you can grow up and grow older with this disease. There's all the information on our screen right now this Saturday or this se September 16th 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Central Park Road. It's amazing to me. And we're red, right? Yes. I we're remember. red. Yes. We're red. Yes. 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 Red is actually sickle cells color but you know we got pushed out by cancer okay no hard feelings no hard feelings <laughs> all right thank you so much for what you're doing the incredible work mm -hmm. you're doing and have a successful walk raising a lot of thank money you. for such a good thank cause. you for having me i appreciate your time mm -hmm.